but we've got warmth that's there already well into the 80s, and you can feel the humidity that's back as well. Look at Bogalusa at 85. We're at 82 officially here in New Orleans, but we're just going to get right into the thick of things because it's going to be all about tracking the potential of strong and severe storms. Already a complex that's out into the central and southern plains. There's tornado watches that are up in the warm sector. That could be the round of storms that will be here tomorrow that's forming right now in Texas. You can see that complex coming in. And then as that front kind of stalls and lingers, there's another potential to keep a couple of storms around. And then as we get to the weekend, Jazz Fest, a lot of folks in, you're wanting to get out there and enjoy things too. There's so much going on where another system could have an interaction with that as well. We look at live Doppler radar and we're going to go and take a look at what we've got in the way of a few showers that are here right now. We're going to see as we zoom in towards around Thibodeau area in Gonzales. There we go. We've got a little isolated shower and I'm going to put this one in motion a little bit earlier. I saw that it had a little bit of an east and northeastward movement to it. You can see it's developing right now and if we put it on a track, it could be to Sorrento and it could be on its way up towards around the North Shore. It may be to go here and before too long as it makes its way maybe north and east. That's a little bit west of that area. You can see that we do have most of our storm activity that actually is really far away. That's where those severe storms are right now that really are into Texas at this time. So we'll be tracking that one for you. But right now, can't rule out an isolated shower to get things going here today. So as we look at this forecast here tonight, that depicts that isolated shower. Low temperatures only into the 60s to set that stage tomorrow. Here's some of the likeliest timing for the storms tomorrow. By 7, looking at an isolated shower, we're going to watch developing out ahead of the main line of storms. These would be the ones that could prove to show the most spin. Usually can have a greater tornado potential. Not saying that's the case, but it's possible. Then we look at the line of storms moving in by about mid-morning and late morning to midday. These could be some really hefty storms when you take a look at the guide of our screen on the top of our screen to show how intense they could be. And that's going to be our severe potential tomorrow, which is why it's a weather alert day, a level two risk out of five different categories. Now, on top of a severe risk, there's a lot of rain that could fall fast, so there's a flash flood threat out tomorrow. Locally heavy rainfall looks to be pretty likely, so when I list the threats tomorrow, still the heavy rain, the strong wind gust threat tops that list, but we can't rule out a short-lived isolated tornado, and we could even have a little bit of hail potential for this as well. We go into Thursday, you can see those temperatures are still into the 80s for you, but when we go into Friday, watch this one. We're clearing things out. We look to have a really good day for you, although it be it warm. Look at temperatures pushing mid-80s here. This means for Jazz Fest into Friday to open up, we're great. But muddy ground left over from the day before and the storms tomorrow that we're tracking could be severe. We extend that forecast out to the weekend. Unfortunately, could be another system that rolls in Saturday into Sunday. Saturday could be a little bit of a stormier and could be a little bit more of a wet day. I've got storms likely as we get towards around late morning and afternoon. It'll hold temperatures down, maybe even lingering some showers into Sunday. So what it means for you is I would have some rain gear for sure if you're headed out Saturday, but you should dress accordingly and maybe it's going to be those boots to get around on the grounds. Not to be forgotten, the weather alert day tomorrow for the timing of possibly severe storms. Morning up through midday, strong wind gusts, locally heavy rain, but we'll watch for an isolated weak and brief tornado threat too.